Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Kansas Moonshot Podcast, where we are shining the spotlight on amazing things happening in schools across the state. Whether you're one of the Mercury, Gemini, or Apollo schools launching some amazing redesign plans, or a teacher trying to do something a little different, I want to share your story. The goal is to celebrate the awesomeness all around us. You might want to tap in. Chime yeah. In here. All right, uh, so first off, um, can you introduce yourself and where you're at right now? Yeah. Uh, my name is Ashford Collins. I'm an assistant principal at Oxford Middle School in Blue Valley. All right, what's your name? All right, I'm Montez Willis, and I work for a company called J.B. Hunt, and I'm one of Ashford's good buddies from college. Excellent. Okay, and so uh, can you describe kind of what the Hope Walk is and how it started? Right, so um, as far as what the Hope Walk is, it really started in 2016. Um as far as timing goes, it could have been earlier, it could have been later, but um, I think the discernment from just a lot of social and historical discourse and chaos, um, most of it dealing with um, a lot of racial and mental and emotional discourse that we had not dealt with before, and so it came back to the shores and kind of revisited in a very disturbing way, and so I felt like, you know, sometimes in the suburbs, it's easy to get a little comfortable and it begins to feel like part of the discourse in this country is out of your hands, but we felt like we wanted to make some impact here in the community that we're in because that's where it starts. And so the whole term of united love through hope came to mind because we feel like no matter what swords you're using, if you're impacting anything that's chaotic, love is always going to be the best answer to that. Anything you want to add to this? No, no, I agree. I I think that was uh, the biggest caveat during that time. We both felt like literally it seemed as if a lot of people have lost hope you know any type of hope to glean to anything so we just wanted to make it a point to be visible um, that there is hope um, and comfort and and coming together in unity and and coming together in general and we just wanted to again start in our community because again that's that's the closest place that we could reach so so that was really what it came down to so this is the fourth year third year fourth year fourth year fourth year fourth year doing the walk Um, So if there's a school out there that wants to, because I feel like the school is kind of the hub of the community, and so if there's a school out there that wants to launch something like this in their own communities, what recommendations would you have for them wanting to start something like this? Yeah, my honest answer to, you know, if you're wanting to do something to make a ripple, um, we didn't know what we were doing. (laughs) And if we're being completely honest, we still don't know what we're doing. Um, the the, The honest, broad answer is to just let your energy and your ideas run and just throw them out there and just like when you go fishing see what you come back up with (laughs) Um, but if there's anything on your heart that you want to start start with those crazy ideas share them with a couple of close people that you trust and throw them out there and sometimes those people like my team right here um, they help kind of polish them up to say like hey this is how this can practically look so really just have the idea get every people close to you share that with them because most of the time they probably have the same feeling if not same ideas as you and they'll help kind of polish those things up and next thing you know you're on year four of doing something that you just kind of dreamed and envisioned um, before awesome all right all right well thank you very much as a follow-up to this episode I just wanted to add that the thing that has always impressed me about the Hope Walk and everyone involved, and it is, it's a huge team of people that come together to organize this walk, is nobody told them that they needed to start this. They saw a need and they acted on it. They saw something that wasn't being met, a need that was not being met, this conversation that was not starting, this hope that people were needing to hear. And they acted on it. Too often I hear people, especially in the education space, complaining about, you know what? Someone, if someone would just start this initiative, if someone would just teach these kids this one thing, you know what? School would be so much better if someone would just go out and organize this. And at a certain point, you have to realize you are that someone. Stop waiting for someone else to organize it. I've been guilty of this too, where I'm like, you know what? It would be awesome if someone organized this after school club, or it would be awesome if someone started this new initiative uh, to help out students in my community. But you have to realize you are someone, you are influential, and you have the power and the ability to start some of these things. Now, it may start small and it has to get bigger, but you have to make the first step. 
So I'm going to challenge you. Take the inspiration you hear from these people who organized this amazing Hope Walk and use it in your own community. You know your community better than just about anyone else. You know what needs are in your community that aren't being met yet. So use this as an opportunity to go out and meet those needs. Because I guarantee you, if you start reaching out to people and say, you know what, this is something I see in my community. This is something that needs to be met. I guarantee you there are people in your community that feel the exact same way. They just need someone to prompt them and guide them and say, hey, come on board. We're going to do this together. So thank you to those organizers of the Hope Walk. Um, I would highly recommend it. It'll be back next summer. I'll post more information as it comes out about when that'll be if you want to check that out. But a huge, huge encouragement challenge to you. Find something and get it going. Let's go. 2019, 2020 school year. Let's launch something. For more information about this episode, check out my website, mrstockrocks.com. If you know someone doing something awesome in their classroom, let me know about it. I'd love to have them on the show. You can email me at teachlikeaninja at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at teachlikeaninja. I've been your host, Josh Stock, sixth grade language arts teacher and self-proclaimed awesomeness expert. Until next time, book it forward and be awesome.